I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers to this excellent channel for posting beautiful questions. My friend, here is my solution to your question, which is how would you write the rule of transformation when the original image vertices are A, minus 4, minus 3, B, minus 4, minus 7, C, minus 8, minus 7, and the primes are A, 1, 4, B, minus 3, 3, and C is minus 4, 7. Now, we'll assume the function f of x as the transformed function. So we could write this as a times g of, let me write g of, k times x minus d plus c. Right? So if that is the transformed function, then the transformation which actually takes place is for x values, the value of x changes from the original x value, let's say x0, to x0 over k plus d. And the y value changes from y0 value to the image point as a times y0 plus c. Right? So that is the transformation which takes place. So this is horizontal, that is vertical. Now we can actually take few points, we'll take two of them since they are two variables. So we'll choose point A and C to get our results, right? So let's use the point A, which is minus 4, minus 3, minus 4, minus 3, which changes to, let's like, call A prime, which is 1 and 4. And let's use C, which is minus 8, minus 7 and C prime, the image is minus 4 and 7. Now you'll notice that this is your transform point, right? So, so after this transformation, that is what you get. So, so, the, so we can say the X value becomes like this, right? We have taken original value and that's the transformation, okay? So the transformed X value is 1 for us from the original value of minus 4. We can substitute here. So we get 1 equals to minus 4 over k plus d. Using the second point, we get minus 4 equals to minus 8 over k plus d. So we have two equations. Now we can actually easily find uh, both the variables. So if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, then what do I get? d's cancel away and we get 5 equals to so 4 over k, correct? Or that gives you the value of k as 4 over 5. And the value of d can be calculated as d is equal to, let's take the first equation, so it will be 1 plus 4 over k or 1 plus k is 4 over 5, so 4 times k is 4 over 5. Let me write like this. So that gives you the value of d as 6. So using the x coordinates, we found the transformations, which are horizontal compression and horizontal translation. Correct? Now let's do the vertical. So 4 comes from minus 3. So here 4 is equal to minus 3a plus c and here 7 comes from minus 7, so minus 7 equals to, uh, sorry, plus 7, the 7 equals to minus 7a plus c. So let's call these equations, we'll call them as these ones as 3 and 4, which are our solutions, right? Okay, so we'll call these as 5 and 6. Perfect. Now if I take away, let's say we do 5, take away 6, then what do we get? So we get minus 3 here, and this gives you 4a, or a equals to minus 3 over 4. And we can find c using the value of a which we just calculated. So we can write c from one of these equations, let me write c equals to 4 plus 3a, right? Substituting the value of a, we get 4 minus 3 times 
3 over 4, which is 4 minus 9 over 4, right? So, which is equal to 16 minus 9 over 4 or 7 over 4, right? So, that is the value of C. So, the transform function, finally, we could now write that the transform function f of x is equal to a value is minus 3 over 4. So, we can write minus 3 over 4, right? So, g of the original function, which is the k value is 4 over 5. x minus d, which is 6. plus c which is 7 over 4 plus 7 over 4 okay? so 7 over 4 so let me just highlight this also okay so that is the transformation which we got which you could always rewrite as vertically stretched rather compressed here so if you want to write them you can write transformations as This is reflection on x-axis. So reflection on x-axis, vertical compression by a factor of 3 over 4, horizontal stretch, stretch by factor of 5 over 4 and 6 units right and 7 by 4 units up. Correct. So that is how you could actually describe the transformation, right? So, so I hope it is visible. So that is how we could actually find the solution to your question. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you and all the best.